In children, yes, but more I also looked at their families. If I thought the father was a threat, I would not approach the child. If exactly, son, because you will get molly wops, son. You will get crushed out here, son. What are you talking about? Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. Welcome to another episode of Heat Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Man, check this out, man. This is the first episode of Heat Rants. I want to let you know I'm just a random guy who likes to talk about random stuff that interests me. And I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. If that sounds sexy or attractive to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notifications. That way, you'll always be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time. Leave a like, because I'm so damn insecure and those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms, because we're so humble. You email me, and also hit me in the description box below. For the, for the merch, of course. And also, join the Discord. But let's not waste no more time, we got another reaction. Y'all seen the thumbnail. You seen the title. Let's get into this. Y'all remember I did a reaction, uh, a stream reaction for those of you guys who watched to a, uh, a thing similar to this. I'm assuming at least similar to this though, right? But it was with a black guy. This is this one is, is with a Caucasian guy. Let's, let's, let's just get into this. How did you get them alone? Grooming. Um, I would check out their family situation. I would check out their clothing to see how well they were, you know, financially. I would check out their social interaction with other kids, you know. When we were on the ballparks or on the, on the gym floor, you know, I would make sure which ones I wanted to molest. I would give them special attention, congratulate them, talk to them when I know that I would never be allowed to talk to anybody else, you know, aside from everybody. I would give them the attention that a, an official is not supposed to give anybody, and it made them feel- Yo, off the rip, watch out, son. Watch out. This is some scary stuff right here. So, hey, i am be honest with you right now, son. Uh, the video is well, well, we're almost, almost halfway through, son. This is stuff that- I feel like you should know as a, as, a, as a dude, right? You should know as, you know, well, I don't know how many of y'all are parents and stuff, right? But I'm pretty sure you should be, uh, you should know a lot of this stuff is what's going on, son. You already know. That's why I tell my kids straight up, like, yo, tell me everything, son. Tell me, has anybody ran up on you, son? Right now, I mean, they're only in, they're only in pre-K and stuff like that, right? But I still, you know, daycare for real. But I still tell them, like, yo, listen, anything happens, come tell me, son. If anybody tells you anything, when somebody's extra friendly to you, son, somebody comes into the vicinity, stares at you a little bit, tell me. My daughter, she's a grade-A snitch, bruh. So I'm telling you, she's a... Hey, Bruh, I'm not gonna hold you, son. If my daughter grows up, son, and I find out that she's an informant, somebody say, yo, you know your daughter is an I would be like, yo, I'm not even surprised. My daughter is a grade-A snitch. Bro, son, I, and my son, he doesn't snitch. He doesn't snitch, right? You know what I'm saying? I think he got in his genes somehow. The snitching gene from uh, my daughter is coming from my, my my wife. You feel me? My, my, my son, he doesn't snitch. But time will tell. So I'm like, listen, listen, you don't have to snitch, right? But when it comes to this, tell me everything, son. Tell me everything, son. Because there's guys out here on the problem. I'm not going to lie to you, son. The mere fact that's even looking at this guy, this guy looks like molester, son. He screams molester. He got the molester ponytail and everything. He just needs the right mustache and everything. And it's, a, it's a wrap. But he's older now. Maybe he cut the mustache. Maybe he's evolving to another thing. The mere fact that he's on a couch and not in a jail cell right now while he's talking is freaking ridiculous to me, son. Guys like this deserve to be under the jail. But let's continue, though. Them feel like, wow, he's paying me attention. You know, it, it is a direct form of grooming. Were there certain characteristics that you looked for in children before molesting them? In children, yes, but more I also looked at their families. If I thought the father was a threat, I would not approach the child. If exactly, son, because you will get molly wops, son. You will get crushed out here, son. What are you talking about? Of course, you saw, son. That's the thing. He's probably looking for single mothers. He's probably looking for single mothers with little kids just running run around the joint, son. 
or maybe he's looking for dudes that look soft right he look like a, if the dude looks like poindexter like that dad ain't about to do nothing he ain't about that life bro then you probably go try to snatch your kids fellas fellas hit the gym hit the gym son take some kickboxing classes anything like that son don't let these guys think that they can come and snatch your child up don't let them think that bro it's freaking ridiculous this guy really had son this is crazy son T this guy probably has a regular job then strategically he's out here planning and finding children and snatching them up and doing god knows what and now he's he's interviewing i don't know if he's doing this off of the strength of like he feels bad of what he's done in the past and god knows how many joint how many little kids that he's done this to son he, he might be like yo I'm, I'm letting this out now so people who are unaware can know about this stuff like this is freaking ridiculous man let's keep going if i thought that the child had friends that he would tell i would not approach him if I thought the child had friends that were in the same capacity he was, I would approach him for the simple fact that if I could molest him, I could lure him into believing, grooming him into believing that he would enjoy it. And therefore, I could manipulate him into having his other friends come and be molested by me as well. So perhaps a, a, a child that doesn't really have a whole lot of friends, maybe not really a strong family, things like that. Yes, no spiritual values, um, weak in education, you know, needs help in many ways. Um, even from uh, split parenting, you know, has a mother who may be having problems with the family, you know, well, here comes superhero in to help out, you know, wow, well, thank you very much. No problem. You ever need me to take him away for the night so you can have a night out? No problem. It works. I feel like the reason why this is upsetting me so much is that I actually have kids and a son, especially. I know it can happen to girls too, son, but it's, it's, it's weird. It seems like a lot of these dudes that molest, they, they, they come after they come after little boys. Have you noticed that? At least the guys that get caught, they go after little boys. I've noticed the main ones that get caught, son, it's freaking It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, man. Now he's just on here in the interview and everything like this. This video actually got me a little bit blown to make for us, huh? You guys know I usually make jokes and stuff in my videos, but I can't really, I can't even make a joke about this, bro. This, this guy's really got me blown. This is all some EDP type stuff. You guys know the whole situation that had happened with EDP. I mean, it's recent. It's really, really recent right now. So EDPs, his whole life is destroyed. He can't get a job. He can't do anything, right? I hope this guy's in the same position, right? I hope he didn't get paid to do this interview, right? I hope he feels remorse for what he's done, right? Now look at him, son, living an old, son, he made it to an old age. That's shocking to me. When I see stuff like that, I'm like, shocking. This guy's an old man. Granted, unless unless he's done it recently and then he's just got let out of prison, but he's a very old man, meaning that he, mo I, I'm assuming that he's done it when he was younger, right? Maybe in his 30s. And now he's lived this long, son. The fact that he has not been clapped, you know what I'm saying? If he was in prison, because I heard when you're in prison, when you, when you mess with kids and stuff like that, even though, you know, criminals are criminals, all that stuff like that. Right. But they still look at certain things like like the R word, and, you know, with ch and stuff with children. They take that as serious. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, I don't care if I do if, I, if I'm a murderer and blah, 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 like that. I'm coming at this guy because this guy is out here messing with kids and R word and women. You know what I'm saying? They have, I think they, have, they you can't even put those people in general population. They gotta put those guys in a special group, right away, because they realize that the fact that he made it through and he's still alive, to able to tell the story, he's out here on the couch, not behind the cell. It's freaking ridiculous, man. I don't understand, man. Once a person messes with a kid, right, and they get registered as a uh, offender at that point, right? I, I just, I just feel like they. <sighs> I don't know how you even do time. I, I, I mean, like when I say time, I say I don't understand how you really do time. I, I would think it'd be a sentence, right? Like a serious sentence. When I say do time, I'm, I'm gonna say like, oh, you're only doing five years or something like that. I feel like that'd be a serious sentence. You should get a serious sentence. 
some people might say, oh, you know, you know, times change. People can be forgiven. They can change from what they do. I don't know. I don't know if you can. Because most likely you already have the fetish of a young child in your head. You have a fetish. This guy was strategic with it. Right. So it makes me believe that this is the way you are. You're programmed to be this way. That's not even if you go to prison, you can't change that. Like me, I love women. If I go to prison for loving women, son, I come out, I'm still love women. You feel me? Maybe that's a bad example, but you, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like with them, they love they love young boys, young girls. You feel me? Like, I feel like it's the same exact thing in a sense, right? Because it's like, yo, you lock them up, they come out, and they're just going to stop liking young boys and gonna stop liking young girls. It just doesn't get taken off like that, son. It's freaking ridiculous, man. But that's all I got to say on this thing. If you stay this long, I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you'll be on the first to hear the voice. Same time. Leave a like. I'm so damn insecure. And those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo. Men offering grown adult females orgasms. Consensually, of course, because we're so humble. Description box below. That's all I gotta say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. I'm out. Uh, 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 uh.